Hey guys, it's Noah here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, review, and setup of the NZXT Hue Plus Advanced Lighting Solution. Now this is a lighting controller which is used to uh, light up lights inside your computer. Obviously this would be, this, would, this type of device would apply to a person with a personal build with a window so you can see the lights, and it's also for a person who doesn't want to mess around with uh, clunky lighting solutions such as ones that require a big remote and a bunch of buttons it's all it's all just too complicated this is a easy all-in-one setup and um, software controllable solution inside the first box we have two more boxes held together by a paper ribbon and inside uh, box number one we have instructions which I didn't find to be very helpful it answered I think one of my questions but other than that it wasn't very helpful to me and I just googled the rest of it. It does have it in like six different languages languages though, so if you don't speak English, your language is likely included on that uh, document. And inside the rest of the box, you have two uh, regular connection strips, which you would use to connect two lighting strips to each other. Um, one extra long connection strip if you need to make a longer connection of two lighting strips. Uh, this is the base, two base connection strips, I mean, and basically this is used to plug in the first strip to the Hue Plus device and then some zip ties to tie stuff down a Molex power cable for the NZXT Hue Plus device and a, two point, a USB 2.0 uh, cable to transfer data to the computer from the Hue Plus and then also included is four screws to mount it to a 2.5 inch hard drive cage it can really mount to anything, you don't even have to mount it at all. In fact, you can just have it resting at the bottom of your case. Although I feel more secure with it mounted, obviously. And uh, the, the style of the box itself, the Hue Plus box, is actually pretty stylish and will look pretty sleek in almost any build. And um, I think it looks kind of neat. And since I have two 2.5 inch hard drive caddies on the front of my case, it is displayed very nicely. Also included is four LED strips, which include magnetic adhesion and 3M tape adhesion for two mounting options to the case. So you can either magnet magnetize them to the case or adhere them to the case, depending on your situation. Before I install everything, I recommend dusting everything. I haven't dusted mine in a while, so um, this has really nothing to do with the Hue Plus, but it is important to keep your computer working functionally or function. It's, it's important to keep your computer functioning properly and to do that or to ensure that, that is, your computer is working correctly, it is good to dust your computer as often as there is dust accumulation. So yeah, dust filters are now cleaned and I dusted everything out with an air blower. Nothing more is really needed. And then now we're going to install the device. So for the Hue Plus strips, I spent a really long time installing these. I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out where to put them and it uh, was not a very fun experience. Literally, it took me about an hour, but I got them all installed, and um, so yeah, that's about it. Just pretty much know where you want to install them, and you might not have to take as long as me, but I, am, I was pretty perfectionist and made sure that everything fit nicely, so it took me a crazy amount of time, probably more than I'd like to spend. But as soon as you screw the thing on and plug all the plugs in, you're ready to go. Next up, I am doing a software tour and a demonstration of the Hue Plus, so stay tuned. Basically, f first what you're going to want to do if you buy your NZXT Hue is you obviously need the software to run it. And you can find it on NZXT's website right here. I will link it in the description. No need to pause the video. Uh, if you go to PC Monitoring and Downloads, you can download the CAM software. And once it downloads, you're going to also want to um, check the box that says download the Hue Plus software with it. And you'll know what I mean when you get that message when you're going through the install process for the program. But anyways, once you get all that done, it should ask you to restart your computer. And when you start it back up, you will have this new application, which will be CAM software. A few words about CAM software I'd like to mention is it is a little bit glitchy. And um, I probably won't be buying an NZXT Kraken as a water cooler until they sort out their software. Because the water cooler um, is has to run off of this software. And if this software isn't very stable as um, I'd want it to be, then I wouldn't really want their cooler cooling my CPU on unstable software. 
if you have an X NDXT Kraken, then um, go ahead and tell us in the, uh, the comments section uh, on how well it works because I have no experience with water coolers and I do want to get one eventually but if I am going to get one I do want stable software to run it off of and um, until NZXT cam software is stable enough I won't be buying their water cooler anyways that's enough about their uh, stability of the software it is pretty advanced you can see this is like the splash screen that opens up when you open the program up but um, you know you installed it correctly because it should have the Hue Plus down here, which I will get to in a second. But another note on the software, it does give you detailed, detailed information. And especially if you jump it to uh, full screen mode, it gives you a ton of information right here, as you can see. So um, it's not like you're uh, going to be missing out on any other uh, tunable software. And speaking of tuning, you can also tune your hardware which I don't know if I would do it using this program I'd probably do it from the BIOS to overclock anything or tune it but um, it's kinda cool that it has that feature that built in anyways it tells you your build and uh, specs about it and then it tells you your built in games which I don't think is correct another reason why the software is a little bit uh, glitchy sometimes it says that my only game that it says it can give me an FPS for is Rise of the Tomb Raider but that is totally not true as I have over 125 games in my Steam library as of now and a lot of them are AAA games which are able to be configured by the uh, GeForce Experience software so the fact that Cam won't pick up on those games is kinda strange but anyways everything aside from Cam I'm just gonna be moving on to the Hue part of their software Right here we have the Hue, which will be an option as soon as you install the software with the Hue add-on. And uh, to be able to control your NZXT Hue, you will have to go to Edit Settings. And this is where all the magic happens. Alright, so um, what I'm going to start off with is we're just going to go with a basic color to show you how the uh, Hue and the Hue software performs. And I think that when I first uh, turned on my computer having the hue inside of it I was blown away by how good it looks uh, it's another thing to mention this is all totally cosmetic and it will not boost any performance or anything like that inside your computer so don't expect any performance boost like that this is pure cosmetic stuff but I think it looks damn cool look at this and you can change it to any color you want but another thing I'd like to mention about cam software again is the color reproduction isn't always exactly what you would expect as you can see I clearly have a dark yellow here selected on the screen but you get kind of a weird light green color which is pretty strange but um, if you fiddle around with it a little bit you can get it to look more yellow but see even now that's clearly still yellow but it's almost pure white on the um, lights themselves so not all color reproduction is as accurate as I'd like it to be but when it is accurate it looks really cool and the camera is not really picking up on the color exactly either so what you're seeing on the screen and what you're seeing through the camera isn't exactly what I'm seeing through my eyes and uh, I'm sure that if you get the hue yourself you will definitely see that um, it looks pretty badass I have to say but yeah I like it a lot and if you want to have the lights off like say you're working on something that requires your full attention you don't want any lights distracting you or anything like that you can just go to a fixed color of black and that will shut all of the lights off so you don't have to worry about anything flashing now I personally like this mode the best it's basically just a fading color mode and I'm gonna turn it on uh, a little bit faster just for the purposes of this video so you can see what it does but um, basically it just goes through all the colors gradually and rather than like um, switching the colors uh, like you switching no it doesn't switch colors noticeably I should say and um, yeah it kinda just fades into each color and I'm, pr I'm a pretty big fan of that it looks pretty cool I think and uh, again it doesn't look as great on the video I can see through the camera but it does look a lot better in person so just remember that now I like this mode this one's pretty cool and I just named all these really quickly so I can remember what was what this is called the Marque mode and I think it looks pretty cool and you can do this with any color like before this is kind of a cool mode to like leave your PC um, idling in because it just I don't know in my opinion it looks pretty cool just lasers going around the machine 
And this one's the covering marque. If I, I hope I'm saying this right, I'm probably gonna get roasted in the comments. But um, yeah, I like this mode too. It's pretty cool. Basically, it just goes around the computer with a different color, and all of these colors are totally maneuverable. You can select any color you want. You can add as many colors as you want to my knowledge. I don't think there's a cap. There might be after you add, I don't know, 400 colors, but uh, one of you can, can go experiment with that and tell us how it goes in the comments. I'm pretty sure you can add at least six or seven colors, which is pretty much all I need for this. I mean, as soon as you start adding more than that, the colors aren't really going to be discernibly different. And then um, another mode is the pulse mode. Not really a big fan of this mode, but some of you might be. It kind of just like pulses on and off. In my, in my opinion, it's kind of distracting. And uh, now that I'm here, I realize I skipped breathing mode, which is a lot like pulse mode, but um, rather than being harsh, as, as harsh as pulse mode, it like, um, it's a lot more um, gradual changes rather than just the harsh pulsing from pulse mode. And I'm pretty sure you can create as many profiles as you want, as you can see here. I don't think there's a limit to them. Now this mode looks pretty cool, I'd have to say. Uh, I wouldn't leave it on my computer, I'm personally a bigger fan of the fading mode, but for those of you who like do like the rainbow colors and have seen my Corsair Strafe uh, review the keyboard, how it does the rainbow colors as well, this would be a nice addition to the keyboard doing the rainbow colors. So yeah, it's just it just cycles throughout the rainbow around the case and you can control the speed of how the rainbow goes, but I think it looks pretty cool. Again, sorry about the uh, video quality. It's not really showing up in the camera as well as I'm see excuse me, seeing it. But um, I still think it looks pretty cool. And in spite of the holiday season, here is some Christmas lights. Even though by the time I post this video, it'll probably be a little while past Christmas. Sorry about that. But um, this is the uh, alternating mode. And you can have it either so it just flashes like that or you can have it moving like this. So um, I think it's pretty cool, and a lot, for a lot of these modes, you can select the group size for the LED lights. Like as you can see, there's three LED lights, but if I were to change that to six, then it would group these in six, and each one of those would flash. If you understand what I mean. And then there's a new mode here. I have not seen this mode actually, so I'll have to check that out on camera. But um, this is a candlelight mode, which I'm not a really big fan of. It kind of looks like your lights are broken. Basically, there's a slight flicker, which I think the video is just barely picking up, but basically it makes the lights flicker ever so slightly as a candle would. So if you have this on like red or an orangey color like this, then it kind of looks like a candle. But um, yeah, not really a big fan of that. Kind to me, it kind of looks like your lights are broken. So I don't know if you guys are a fan of that, then uh, go nuts. But uh, let's check out this wings mode. Like I, like I said before, I haven't really seen this mode, so it'll be interesting to see what this does. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, that's kind of distracting, but I guess there's like a demo. It's kind of cool, but I definitely wouldn't leave this on in my computer running at uh, just trying to do work because this would definitely get distracting, especially now. I guess maybe at the slowest. Yeah, I guess that's a little less distracting, but still. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, that mode's kind of cool. Still, my favorite's fic, the fading mode. But um, that's about it, guys, for this review and the software tour. If you have any questions, please just um, leave them in the comments section. And uh, like, give this video a like if you uh, found anything helpful, if I fixed any problems, or if you just like the video in general. And then if you like what you saw here and if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, go visit my channel and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.